Hey guys, welcome back to So You Think You Can't Craft. So, since we have gotten so many likes this week, I want to give you guys a little bonus video, a last minute uh, Valentine's Day present to give to someone. Uh, we'll call it my Valentine's present to you. And you also get one tomorrow, so even better. So, what we're going to make is these little candy pouches, or you can put whatever you want in there. Um, actually, Hot Wheels fit perfectly in these. Just found that out when I was making this one. So I've got three different styles here. One, two, and three. So they're all just made out of the basic thing is the toilet paper tube. That is the main thing you need. You could even just use that. Um, so our supplies for this one here with the little punch outs on it. There we go show you the right way the little punch outs on it this one takes one toilet paper tube I have double stick tape you can use any kind of adhesive um, that will do both sides and I have two hearts for mine that I used a uh, paper punch to do so we'll start with that one and so what you basically do is you take your toilet paper tube and you take this end. Now watch for where your roll starts and ends. I like to start right here and push that right into the middle. So I put my finger on the line there. Sorry, the sun's actually getting in the way. And you push it in about halfway. Then you kind of crease up the side here and make that end a, a good point. Then you turn it and you do the exact same thing overlapping this time and make that end a good point. It's hard to do without looking at it here just a minute. So that you have it like this. Now I want to put some Skittles inside of this one. I'm going to use the same Skittles for all of them. I'm going to put these in there now. Now that there's a bottom to my container. I just shoved them right in there. And then I'm going to see how this is starting to come off here on the inside. Just because I've had these stored for a long time. The toilet paper tubes. I'm going to use that side where it's flipping off up off of there and push that side in since it's already falling in I might as well use it and then you push it in just like the other side repeat it on the other end and you have a little container for your candies now this could be used for Valentine's Day presents it could be used to hide for Easter um, let me turn down my music here sorry so the um, you can use it like this, or you can go ahead and all I did was take some double stick tape, one of my hearts, put it on the back there, and I like it looking this way. You could want it this way, but I like it this way. I think it gives it a little bit better of a dimension, so I'm going to stick that right on there, and then... I'm going to double stick tape my other one. And I put it on the bottom. And then I'm just going to take my Sharpie. You can use any marker or just a pen or nothing. You could leave it like this. Nice, simple. Or I'm going to write love on mine. Just like that. And I'm actually going to add you. So it's all filled up that space in the middle so it's even. So there's one. That took uh, about four minutes, a little bit less to make. And let's do our next one. So let's do our next simple one, which is just this one with the bow. And so you would get the same basic idea. Oh, and to open these, you just undo the end, same way you did them. So I'm going to take this candy out, and for the next one, you go ahead, you fold in one side, 
like we did on the other one. Fold in the other side like we did on the other one. Stick our candy down in there. Now what you want to make sure is that when you're pushing in the sides, when you go to push in the other side, don't push it in here because then you have a weird shape. I mean, I mean you could, but if you want it the shape for this one, you want it this shape because we're going to put the ribbon in there and if we did it the other way, it would not stay. So then you fold in the other side. All four sides are now folded in. So then you take some ribbon, which I got here, and you just tie it on there. You use the little creases to your advantage. It'll hold your ribbon in place. And you tie it in a bow. So then to open this one, whoever you give it to is going to have to untie the bow and unfold the ends. But it's not going to be even as much as if it, they had to unwrap a present. And you can put chocolates. You can put uh, whatever you feel like putting in there that will fit, obviously. Um, I'm going to do a Hot Wheels for, one of my son, for my son and do one of these with the Skittles in it for him as well because he loves candy. Of course, because he's, you know, a four-year-old boy. So... There's that one. My bow is a little crooked. Um, and on the other one that I made, it has the bow. And then on the back, I put, I love you. I kind of actually like it more simple. Just basic. Now, the next one is going to be the hardest out of all of them to do. Um, it's not that hard, but it, it takes a little bit more patience. So... Toilet paper tube, fold your ends in, get all four of them folded in there, okay, so now you got the toilet paper tube, now this is going to be like this, except I'm only going to do one color. So it's going to look like that. Um, so what you're going to do is you're going to take this piece of paper and you're going to measure it around. So go all the way around. So I went all the way and then I gave it a little bit extra, about an eighth of an inch. And then I'm going to cut that little piece off there because we don't need all the extra. So now, it fits all the way around. So, <clears throat> I'm going to take double stick tape, just a strip on each end. So I'm going to put it here, and I'm going to put it here, right there, and right there. Now I want to center it on here. Let me get that centered. I can't do it by video. And I don't want to center it here because that's going to be the front or it could be the back. I'm going to center it on the top though. Don't mind my dog in the background. She's growling at a squirrel. So make sure that your line is straight and it is centered well and then push it on there. So you got that. Then you're going to come around. And you're going to meet it right there. And you want to make sure that you are straight here and straight here. Not like this because then you are going to have some gap and it's not going to be straight all the way around. So I've got it straightened up there. Push it on just to make sure it's pushed on all the way. I'm going to open the inside and put some pressure on the other side. And fold it back up and there you go you can add any kinds of these you can do them together um, if you wanted to do your do this one and the ribbon you know you can do that take your creative side and have fun with it um, don't get so stuck on the instructions 
because this is about you and personalizing it to who you're giving it to or for yourself. And that's one thing you need to remember is that you need to add a little bit of yourself to everything that you do with crafting because it makes the thought count even more so when they know it's from you and they can see it. Especially when it comes to a Valentine's Day gift where, you know, it's all about caring about someone um, and whatnot. Anyway, if that's my little soapbox spiel there, happy Valentine's Day early, guys. I will post a video again tomorrow for you. Um, hope you enjoyed it. Have a good one.